Okay, to remove the life band, you need to pinch the four tabs located here and here. Make sure that the skirts are out and then lift the back plate off. From there, ensure that the life band is positioned at the home position so you can see the stitching and so it's fully unwound. From there to remove it, you need to push in this white disc here. You can do so by using my middle finger here underneath the life band and using my thumb and forefinger then to bring the band clip out and then completely out. Another option is to bring it together, pinch, and then remove. Either one is totally acceptable. From there, you would dispose of the life band in garbage or in a red biohazard container as dictated by SOP or protocol. To put a new life band in is a reverse of that process. So make sure that the icon lines up. Make sure that the, the skirts or, or, or fenders here are out. Take the band clip, insert this end in first into the drive shaft slot, advance it forward, and then simply push down on the bottom. From there, the drive shaft will unlock and actually be able to be moved back and forth. Once again, you need to make sure that these skirts are out and put the locking plate in place and you are good to go. Every time you change out the life band, you should always power on the machine. The machine will check and ensure that it's properly installed and will give you an error message on the screen if it is improperly installed. Another way that it can be improperly installed is if the skirts on the device are not outwardly placed. So here's what can happen. If you have them tucked in and try to get this guy on here, it takes a, a good amount of pressure, but it can be done. So if you look here on the side, you will see how that's bunched in there. And on the other side, if I turn the device over, you will actually see a bare roller, which is definitely an indication that this hasn't been properly installed. When properly installed, this little skirt piece will actually be held in place and will cover up the roller. So as the device is operating, the actual Tyvek doing the pulling, or sorry, the Mylar doing the pulling is covered by this Tyvek. It still can be exposed if I pull it out here, but it's not constantly like that. Most times it will stay in place there, and actually I'm pulling on here a little bit, and it's still holding in.